What's up, everybody? This is Jose with Oakland Latinos United. <clears throat> I'm here with a new video for you guys to enjoy. Well, the video I'm going to make today is a quick review of something I seen yesterday on LA Times. And man, was it <laughs> some drama. I can't admit it. Part of it was funny, but part of it was pretty sad. You know what I mean? Seeing Raza at each other's strokes like this. <clears throat> you feel me? And that was between Gil, the American Cholo, and Sonny Boy Loco. Or Sonny Boy from um, <clears throat> the streets ain't loyal. Uh, basically, I guess um, a long time ago, or at least a couple years back, Sonny Boy used to be on American Cholo's podcast. I guess with the other homie named Boo Boo, who's the dude in in the picture right there. And um, I guess Sonny and that Boo Boo guy are from the same neighborhood. I think they're from Burbank in Southern California. I don't remember. But I know American or Gil, American Cholo, he's from um from North Hollywood, which is in the San Fernando Valley, those of you who don't know. <clears throat> and uh, you know, the last I would say four or five years have been like a, a renaissance for Rasa on YouTube. And that's no lie. Me being one of the first Chicanos on YouTube, I can tell you that seeing people like American Cholo, Sonny Boy a comics perspective, Gunner, you know what I mean, LA Times, Cholo Juan, uh, Salinas Report, and so many others, you know what I mean, that have come up in the last, you know, four or five years. It's pretty amazing because I was one of the first guys on YouTube talking about Chicano and gang issues way back in the days, in 2007, eight. you know what I mean, and it took this long for it to explode, but it's a beautiful thing to see more rasa content but the thing that i don't like is the drama a lot of it is 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 creating because it's drama that's unnecessary and it's it, it's something we don't need that we already have enough drama in our communities and our lives within within us as a people <clears throat> but basically sunny boy local or sunny boy used to be on american cholo show and they used to have like a panel discussion. They would have videos. So I've been watching American Cholo for quite some time. And hey, I like Gil's stuff. A lot of his stuff is cool. I'm not going to knock him. But I think in some ways he was in the wrong yesterday. And and and, and, I, and I'll put it out there. You know what I mean? So basically, Sonny Boy and, America, and American Cholo had a falling out some time back. Maybe about a year ago. And Sonny Boy went on to create his own content. And he started doing videos with like uh, Cholo Trucker and other people out there. <clears throat> and then American Cholo continued with his platform and whatever he was doing. <sighs> but I guess there's been a rocky relationship between Sonny and American Cholo since then. You know what I mean? And Big Paul, Pablo, who does um, LA Times, much love to him. Be sure to subscribe to his channel. He does good work. Check out his movie, Kilroy. I seen it the other day. And, um... Basically, he mediated a sit-down or get-together between Gil, the American Cholo, and Sonny Boy yesterday. Today being Friday, yesterday was Thursday. I was in San Leandro on the BART yesterday. I had to go do something. I didn't feel like driving, so I took BART. But I happened to come right back to my car at 5.30 when this was starting. So I got to watch all of it. And man, was it drama. Oh, my God, was it drama, man. I thought it was going to be a cool thing between Sonny Boy and American Cholo, but it turned out to be a freaking cat fight. You know what I mean? And it just it just wasn't good at all. So American Cholo started off by saying that he didn't want... He, the reason he kicked Sonny Boy out or didn't want him on the show was because Sonny Boy would use the N-word or N-I-G-G-E-R against black people. And if Sonny, Sonny Boy still acted like a cholo or like he was gangbanging, even though he's an older dude. And that he would still talk mess about other barrios, other hoods, you know what I mean? And um, various other things, you know what I mean? And Sonny Boy defended himself as best he could. He said that American cholo has an ego, that he's very arrogant, that, um, you know, he's, he, he, he you know, he... He, he, he's two-faced and a lot of different things just said back and forth to me the one that I think was kind of low was when um, American Cholo was talking bad to Sonny Boy about talking to women like come on dude that, that to me I mean me coming from Oakland from the Bay where we keep it pimpish all day 
when you when you tell another man he shouldn't be hollering at females, that's some some simping ass stuff to us, some player hating stuff. You feel me in the bay? You're gonna be called a player hater, straight up, bro. I'm just keeping it real. You feel me? Because we have a we have a we have a player code in the bay. You know what I mean? If if that's your boy, that's your partner. And he's trying to get at a female. You ain't going to hate on him. I don't hate on my homies when they're trying to get at females. So that came out of left field. And then another thing was that um, American Cholo said that that uh, Sonny Boy uses the uh, the N-word. You know, the N-I-G-G-E-R. And American Cholo used it more than once on there. You know, and he says, you're treating me like a, you know, an N-word <clears throat> at one point. <clears throat> and, um... I would say Sonny Boy admitted to a lot of the things that American Cholo said he did. He didn't back out. He didn't play it off. He's like, yeah, I do those things and I've said those things. So he manned up to it and owned it like he should. Um, another thing I didn't like was American Cholo threw shots at, uh, at Comics Perspective. Now, Comics Perspective, I don't have a problem with them. I I'm cool with them. Those are the homies from YouTube. You know, I talk to them all the time on IG. I send them videos. I send them some of my older videos. Whenever I find something interesting, I shoot it their way. You know what I mean? And and, and they show the love back all the time on their live feeds. And they've shouted me out a few times and had me on their show. So I have no problem with Rojo Flaco. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're A-OK -okay in my book. You know what I mean? But American Cholo, Gil... Was saying, oh, you're hanging out with NF dropouts and snitches and informants and blah, blah, blah. Now, I don't know the history of Rojo or Flacco per se, if they were dropouts or NF informant or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know. And I don't care. Because for one, I am not a gangbanger. You know what I mean? I don't claim Norte or Sud. I never was in a prison gang. So I have no stake and it's not for me to say. You feel me? Because once I open my mouth about dropouts and this and that, I'm putting myself in a gang world and I'm not a gangbanger. So American Cholo claims that he's for la raza and he's against the gang world and against gangbanging and, 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 and raza getting caught up in that. But he's over there calling dudes who really live that life. You know, you got to remember, whatever you think about about um, Rojo or Flaco, they live that life. They were real G's. You feel me? They were they were high-ranking Nuestra Familia members. And that's something important to remember. So once you put their name out there and you're calling them this and that, you're putting yourself in that category with them. You feel me? And as far as I know, I've heard that American Cholo only been to CYA. You feel me? And um, I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know his prison history or anything like that, so I can't speak on it. Sonny Boy says he's been to the Pinta. And Sonny Boy even said that some Nortenios helped him out. You know what I mean? When some blacks jumped him. So, you know, it, 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 it's, it's crazy because, like, also, American Cholo has hated on the boxing match between Cholo Trucker and Gunner. And, you know, a lot of people have hated on it. You know what I mean? And for whatever it was, I get it. But at the same time... The overall message was a good message. Unity between two sides that hated each other and creating these bonds, you know what I mean, between two sides that at one point did not like each other and were willing to kill each other. <clears throat> so I don't, the boxing match thing, whatever you thought of it, I still don't knock the message, the overall message. Whether you like Gunner, whether you like Cholo Trucker, it's redundant. It's just the overall message. I still, to me personally, I still feel... The, the overall message was good. Whatever happened after that, that's A. That's for another time, another place. But I think it's just sad that two grown men are out here throwing each other's information, throwing each other under the bus, you know, cat cat fighting each other. And, 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 and you know, just it, it just, it just doesn't look good. And, you know, the whole N-word and, you know, the problem, you know, a lot of us on Southern California, A, and I don't want to play North and Sud. But, I, I face it, a lot of Rasa in Southern California just does not like black people for whatever reason. There's just like this extreme hatred in SoCal against black people from Rasa. And I'm pretty sure the blacks in L.A. don't like, in SoCal, don't like Rasa either. So, 
Me coming from Oakland, from the Bay Area, where we don't trip off that as much. I mean, yeah, there is divisions, but it's nowhere near what I see in SoCal. And maybe I'm wrong. You feel me? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not that bad. But from what I see, there's a lot of, like, anti-blackness. And I hate using that word in SoCal. You feel me? And I'm not sure why. I guess because I'm not from there, it's hard for me to understand. And, you know, I don't come from that world where I hate someone because of their race. I dislike people because of their character, not because of their race. You can be rasa and be a piece of shit, and I'm going to view you as so. You know what I mean? And that's, that's just how it is. But, I mean, I have I really don't have much to say. All I could really say is, uh, yeah, man, that was it was funny and entertaining, but it was sad at the same time. And I'm telling you this in the Oakland Latinos United fashion, because that's what I do. I talk about Rasa unity. And, uh, I mean, I hope these dudes one day get it together and, 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 you know, get along at one point or at least respect each other's mutual differences, you know, and, um, you know, all I hope is that something good comes out of it. It's not something bad or creates more drama. I know Paul, Big Paul, Pablo was trying to do the right and by bringing these two together, but uh, apparently it, it went a whole nother way. But I commend them for trying. You know, you can't hate on, on someone for trying. You feel me? And uh, as far as American Cholo, man, I, I really don't have a problem with Homeboy. You know what I mean? Much respect to him, to Gil, and, and keep doing what you do, man. That's all I could really say. But, you know, maybe you should check your ego on some things, possibly, is what I'm saying. I could be wrong. Maybe you don't have an ego. I don't know you like that. But if people are saying you have an ego, maybe you should check your ego. Far as Sonny Boy, you know, Sonny Boy comes from that lifestyle. Sonny Boy is no different than a lot of homies I grew up in Oakland in the Bay Area who, you know, older dudes who came from the gang gangster lifestyle. And sometimes it's hard for them to completely let it go. And I feel that that's possibly where Sonny Boy is coming from. But much love to Sonny Boy. He's given me a lot of shots out on his live feeds. Always shows me love. You feel me? And I have no problem with him or with Gil or with anybody else. You feel me? But that's just my two cents on the whole situation. I don't know if you guys got to watch it. Paul doesn't have the video up anymore. I don't know if he's going to release it again or not. You know what I mean? Um, I, I checked in the link and it's not there. So I don't know. Uh, if, if it comes back, I'll leave it in the links. But just take it from me. It was on LA Times last night. And it was, uh, <laughs> it was a cat fight. That's all I can tell you. But this is Oakland Latinos United. Jose signing out. Over and out.